With Hashem's loving grace, today's podcast is entitled Backpack on the Bus, and it gives us an insight into why we suffer stress. Let me share a story with you. There was a young man with a big backpack on his back. He boarded an intercity bus and showed his prepaid ticket to the driver. The driver asked him to put the backpack in the outside luggage compartment with the other big backpacks and suitcases. Well, the young man refused and insisted on holding the backpack on his lap. The driver saw how stubborn the young man was and didn't bother to argue with him. Well, every time the driver made a sharp turn, the backpack would smack the young man on the side of the head. And when a young man was drinking a bottle of Coke, the bus hit a bump of the road, the backpack knocked the bottle out of his hand, and sticky, sugary liquid spilled all over his shirt and trousers. And by the time he reached his destination, the young man was bruised, disheveled, and visibly upset. He yelled at the bus driver, I'm going to drag you and the whole stupid bus company into court. Look what you did to me. I deserve damages. Sorry, young man, the patient bus driver said. You don't deserve anything but a reprimand. Look at the sign at the front of the bus. The driver pointed to the sign at the front of the bus. Please place all luggage in the outside luggage compartment. The driver said this is a company regulation. Anyone who chooses to disregard it loses any right to claim damages from the company. Well, what do we learn from this story? People suffer stress when they forget the first of the Ten Commandments. I am the Lord your God. We have a Father in heaven that we can lean on. He is the divine luggage compartment that carries our heavy loads. We don't have to go through life with our load on our laps. Yet most people insist on carrying their own loads on their back and complain how hard and unfair life is. But I want to ask them one question. Did you ever ask the Almighty for help? Hashem doesn't come to dinner without an invitation. He'll be more than happy to be a part of your life and carry your loads for you, but you have to invite him into your life. You could do that with daily personal prayer. The more, the better. Once you put the emotional loads of your fears and your worries in Hashem's loving hands, life will be a pleasure. Wait and see.